Hey guys! So in this video I just wanted to talk about how I became an au pair and how I got started in it. So many people have asked me like, oh how did you get this? Like how in the world did this happen? So it's kind of strange how it all falls into place. Um, so my friend actually did an au pair experience in Spain with a family. She had been studying abroad and then extended her stay as an au pair. And, you know, I had heard about it before and had wondered about it. Um, never really committed to it kind of thing. Um, and then in April, I was about to graduate college in a month. So I was kind of hemming and hawing around like, what do I want to do after I graduate college? Because that's like the dreaded question that every college senior gets asked. So I was just kind of back and forth on what I wanted to do. Um, I had studied abroad during my college time. Um, I went to um, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Poland, the Czech Republic, and then as um, Slovakia as well through a Central European travel seminar. So I kind of got the bug to travel at that point and knew that I wanted to do some sort of traveling. Um, but part of living your dash, which is what our channel is all about, is that, you know, you take every opportunity that you can, you live life to the fullest, um, and you take experiences and, you know, go with them. So one thing I wanted to do was make sure that, you know, I was getting, taking advantage of these experiences that I could get at this point. You know, I'm 22 years old. Um, I don't have a significant other at the moment. I don't have like a big girl job. So I don't have really anything tying me down. Um, the only thing that really holds anyone back is money, but one thing that I really like to say is you can't bring money with you to the grave kind of thing. Um, so might as well use it if you have it now. Um, obviously being responsible and smart about your money is very important. Um, but it's also good to live your life and do things you want to do. So kind of full circle going back. Um, so I wanted to travel. I knew I was going to be graduating college soon. I knew I was not going to have to go back to school in the fall. I thought about going and getting my master's degree, um, but I don't know. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to narrow in on because, so I'm a communication studies major, which that's very broad. You can go so many different routes with that. So I wasn't exactly ready to narrow in on a specific route because I'd be kind of going that route for the rest of my life and I'm at 22 years old I don't feel ready to make that decision kind of thing. So I knew I wanted to travel um, but I didn't really think it would actually happen if that makes any sense. Um, so in April when all this thought process kind of stuff started I had put my profile out on opairworld.com. Now, I highly, highly recommend this website um, because this is probably the simplest thing you could ever sign up for if you're ever looking to become an au pair. So you just log on, um, sign up kind of thing, and then it's really easy. You put a couple pictures of yourself, and then you can select what you're interested in. So... I selected certain countries that I was a little bit leaning towards. So Australia has been um, the number one destination I've always wanted to go to, but never had really the resources of how to get there, um, what do I do when I get there kind of thing. I had selected a couple different countries in Europe because I loved it there when I was there. Um, not really thinking anything of it, like the ball would actually get rolling and like things would actually start happening. So 
um, I just kind of periodically checked in on the site and, you know, families from different countries had messaged me. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't really set on something. And then I graduated, went through that. And then over the summer worked at Fonderosa, which is a typical summer. And it's an animal wildlife park for those of you that don't know. So I work with animals from North America. But anyways, so graduation happened and I was getting a couple of emails from Au Pair World and I kind of thought about it like, hmm, it wouldn't hurt to look into this. It wouldn't hurt to learn more. So I kind of became a little bit more avid on there, um, started reaching out to more families, started searching more. Um, and then had actually kind of come to a conclusion that Australia would be the place to do this. Like, that would be so cool to get to live and immerse yourself in the culture and go to Australia. Like, it's a win-win kind of thing. So I started looking at families that were in Australia. Um, there were a lot out there. Um, and I mean a lot. The hard part for me was trying to narrow in on age ranges. Um, if the child had special needs of any sort. Um, and then kind of like what your work schedule is. So I should probably back up. And maybe even explain what no pair is. Because... There may be friends or family that are like, okay, what is an au pair? So my understanding of an au pair is very, very similar to a nanny. It's basically what I tell everyone because it's, it's a lot of work to explain what an au pair is. Every time somebody asks me what I'm doing with my life next. An au pair is very similar to a nanny, but the only difference is that these families that you're a part of understand that you're here also for a cultural exchange in a sense. So you're welcoming somebody in from another country and as an au pair you're going to another country. So there's two different lifestyles and views that are being introduced and exchanged there. So that's kind of like the big thing about au pairing is that they want these experiences and they want um to kind of get their kids um, open to all these viewpoints and to show them the world is huge and there's so many things out there. So that's kind of what au pairing is. It's very focused on um, cultural exchanges and um, kind of sharing everything we know. The coolest thing that um, happened on AuPairWorld.com was that I got a message from a family in Germany. I didn't think anything of it until I opened the message. And it was really cool because um, this person that had messaged me had done a um, study abroad or student exchange in Bloomer, Wisconsin um, when they were in high school. So they live in Germany now, but they came to Wisconsin um, back in their days of high school. And I think that's really cool because Bloomer, Wisconsin is only like an hour from my house, an hour southeast. So that's really cool um, to think about that they're able to reach me from, you know, across the world kind of thing. So that was the coolest message I had received. But I had kind of had my mind set on going to Australia because it's where I've always wanted to go. And, you know, I had already seen a little bit of Germany, so I wanted to see as much as of the world as I could. And so, you know, I'd message a lot of families from Australia. Um, at first I was very picky, trying to find some older kids, um, trying to really find an ideal lifestyle there um, and work schedule. Um, that would allow me to not only take care of their kids, but still be able to explore the area 
and um, really experience Australia. So there was that. And then there was also deciding what city I wanted to be in. After reading a little bit more about different cities, I decided I wanted to be in a city um, and preferred Sydney of them all because Sydney has a lot of cool things going for it. And I chose a city because, you know, I have struggled with anxiety in the past and, you know, every day is different, but I still do struggle with anxiety and I'm open on talking about that with anyone. Um, and I just know if I was in a city, there were more things that I could occupy my mind with. You know, I've taken counseling and, you know, I feel good about this and I feel like I'm at a place in my life where I know how to control my anxiety. And, you know, there's a lot to do. If I'm bored, I can go sit at a coffee shop somewhere or I can go explore a beach or I can go for a walk, go for a run. Um, so many things. There's endless things to do kind of thing. And I think that's basically where I would be happiest. So I had gotten this message from a family and their kids were two and four and they were in Sydney, Australia. And um, they wanted to set up a Skype interview. And, you know, I didn't you know, I was okay with that. You know, I thought it would be cool to talk to them and just learn a little bit more about it. So I had this Skype interview and they were very laid back. They were at the park. Um, I think she was with a two-year-old and it was windy and cold looking. So that was a little turn off, but it was their winter. So I can't really hold judgment on that. I felt pretty good about that family, to be honest. I was convinced I was going to choose them at that moment. And right after I'd finished the um, interview, well, actually before I finished the interview, she had offered the position to me and said, you know, we'd love to have you here in Sydney. Um, we think you'd be a great fit in our family. Um, yeah, and I was a little nervous about it just because I would have been their first au pair. Um, I didn't know what an au pair was supposed to really do. They didn't really know what an au pair was supposed to do. Um, so they're like, I was kind of nervous about that. And I told them, well, give me a week to decide. Now, before all this, I'd set up another Skype interview with my family that I have selected. So, um, I had looked at their profile, their kids were 12 and 14 and they lived in Sydney and I was like, well, what are the odds? You know, you never know. I might get selected for this 12 and 14 year old. I went into the interview really thinking that I was going to be selecting the other family to be completely honest. And so we started with the Skype interview. Um, with mom and dad, um, Marina and Anthony. And right off the bat, I fell in love with them. So I really liked them and they seemed really nice and very down to earth, very straightforward kind of thing. Love their accents because Australian accents are wonderful. And so we had ended our Skype call and they messaged me right afterwards saying, we really liked you. Um, we enjoyed our time talking to you. We would love to set up a Skype interview where you can meet the kids and get a chance to talk to them. It got on that day. It was, I think it was a week later. I had told the other family that I was holding off still and to try and figure it out because I wasn't a hundred percent sure yet. So I had my Skype interview with the kids and they told me a little bit about them, their selves. Um, I talked a little bit about me and I will say I knew they were the family when I started saying things and the kids were lighting up. You know, I had talked about working with animals and they got really big eyed and like excited. And then I talked about liking Broadway shows and then that really 
uh, made them excited as well. So just little things like that, where it just reinforced like my want to be with this family. And then they, we had talked about Hamilton. And if any of you are familiar with um, Hamilton, it's a Broadway musical. Um, I'm obsessed with it, basically. And these kids actually knew the songs from Hamilton. So Hamilton's about Alexander Hamilton, the first um, Secretary of Treasury at or in the United States. So I didn't really expect them to know it because it's United States history. But they were singing the songs and they had seen it in New York City, which I thought was super cool. And I was extremely jealous. But they sang a song from Hamilton with me. And at that moment, I knew that they were the family for me. I got off the Skype with them and... Um, within minutes had gotten a message from Marina saying, we would love to have you as our au pair. Um, the kids enjoyed you. We really like you. <clears throat> we would love to offer this position to you. And they said, you know, get back to us within a couple days because, you know, we'd like to get the ball moving and like get our profile taken down so that. We don't have any people applying. So at this time, my parents were in Alaska on a vacation. So I was very nervous because I had to know in a couple days and they were obviously in a different state. So um, I ended up calling them, talked it over, um, kind of went with my gut instinct, to be honest, on choosing the family I chose. Um, I called like my second mom. I called Mama T. I called Mama T, um, talked it over with her, and you know, she had kind of reinforced my decision saying, you know, I can tell in your voice which family you'd be more happier with and like what you would be happier doing. So I think you need to go with your gut. So I accepted that position and the rest is history, <laughs> but it's been pretty cool. And, you know, I really hope that telling this whole story helps somebody else out that is, you know, looking at becoming an au pair or really just exploring their options after college or after high school. So that is a little bit about my story of how I got um, my au pair position. Thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for the next one where I'll be talking a little bit about packing and then probably after that we'll be at the airport getting ready to go to Australia and traveling and then I'll be in Australia, which that's crazy. That's four days from now. And I have barely even packed. So hopefully all goes well on that one. So thanks again for watching.